Well, hello world. Welcome to Raccoon Point Studios. I'm Sean Bombs, and today we're doing another comparison between the Strymon Iridium, the UA FX Lion, and this time we're using the UA Ox Stomp as the cabinet for both of these amps. And I want to explain all this mess to you so you know what's going on and why it's like this, because it wasn't easy to get this test going in the first place. And after that, I'm going to go into the app and just show you what mics I'm using and what cabinet I'm using. So first we have the Ditto, which is the looper, and I already pre-recorded something so I can just send that to these amps and twist the knobs in real time and not have to worry about stopping and starting. And then from there it goes into the input of the radial Twin City. It's an ABY switch and it has class A topology and buffers, meaning it can send the signal to two different places without degradation. So that is going into each of the amps. Of the amps, outputs are going into the line selector. This allows me to have only one output going into the input of the aux stomp, because if you put two of these into there, you will not be able to use both mics at the same time for each amp. It'll be one or the other. And if I did it that way, then it would just be, you know, it wouldn't be the same. So this way, if you if you have two inputs, it sees it as a stereo source, regardless of whatever you're putting into it. So this way I can treat it as it's intended to be used and no issues. So that's how this test goes. So now let's go into the app. I have a four by 12 white 75 cab. I have a 57 and it's at its nominal level. I have it off access and I have a 421 nominal level and I didn't touch anything else. The room mics are there, but I don't have them up. Let me see. Yeah, I don't have them up. Maybe I'll put them in at some point just to check it out. Um, but right now they're not on and the master is at nominal or a little bit above and that's it. So the amp that I'm using for the Lion is the 68 lead or the lead and there is uh, some similarities. I feel like the bass amp might be a little closer to the Strymon's amp. Um, but I guess it really depends on the IR or the dynamic cabinet model that's going after it. So A on here on the line selector is going to be the Strymon and B is going to be the Lion and they know how to do it right at Boss. For some reason, those guys in Canada put B before the A. I don't know what goes on, but the, the unit's great. That's my only thing. Maybe I can put something over top of it. So that's that. So let's go. We're going to start right now.
All right, so let me know what you guys think down below. I tried to level match them the best I could, um, but when different gain structures happen, it was harder to keep them um, the same. The Strymon definitely compresses a lot more. I feel like the Lion is definitely more dynamic. It has, um, it just lets the transients come through a lot more. There's definitely more loud to quiet dynamics going on and you can hear the picking a lot better. It's not as muffly. Um, the Strymon definitely has a little bit less high end into it. It has a lot more low end in it. Um, but the Lion has more output on tap, but that's when it's using its own cabinet. And when the Strymon is using its own cabinet, it's a lot lower at its loudest setting. And, but using it into the Ox Stomp, it seems like it's slightly louder than the Lion. So that uh, tells me maybe that their cabinet IRs have some kind of com more compression going on in that, that uh, in, in whatever they're doing in here. So I could be wrong or it has like an auto gain type of thing happening so it doesn't ever get past a specific level that they want it to stay at. But, um, you know, let me know down below if there's any other cabinets you want me to test it with. I'm not going to go through every Marshall cabinet in here because that would take forever or every single mic scen miking scenario. I did the mics that most people have uh, heard guitars mic'd at. You know what I mean? A lot of people have mic'd using a 421 and a 57. I think it's a sound we're all familiar with, most of us. So hopefully this was useful to somebody. If it was share the video, like the video, um, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and hit the bell to stay notified, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.